All right, so today we are working on something totally different. This is a 1991 Toyota Hi Ace van. It's diesel, five speed, and a high top outfitted for camping. I did a video recently on this van. We did some tune up stuff and service work, and the customer liked my service so much she brought it back for some more work for something that I'm not used to working on, and I'll get to that in just a minute show you a quick overview of the interior here it is right hand drive we've got let's see here turn the headlights on so you can see the dash high beams are on it has 212 kilometers looks like the speedometer goes up to what 160 kilometers an hour i don't know how fast that is it's probably what 80 it has a five speed transmission and then beneath there's another stick down there right here which would go from two to four wheel drive and it has locking manual hubs on the front. Again, this is a diesel van. I believe it's a three liter. The engine is right here between the seats. And this van is all outfitted for camping. So let's get over to what the video is about. Something that I'm not used to working on is uh, the heating and cooling systems for campers. I'm pretty much a general mechanic, but I enjoy new things, and she asked me if I would take a look at her heater, and I said I would. This van is equipped with two heaters. Let's see if we can get a good view of them here. We've got a water-cooled heater. Basically, these are the heater hoses that run from the engine to supply warm water to a heater core, and that goes to these four vents. So that works if the engine is hot, but if the engine is not hot, hold on, let me grab the phone. Okay, where were we? We were talking about this four-wheel drive Toyota High Ace van from the 1990s. It was imported uh, just recently, and the new customer just loves it. So uh, as far as camping goes, it can get cold, especially here in the Northwest. Uh, this van has a large cabin interior space, and it's totally toasty and warm in here and the van's not on. Uh, I was talking about the heater system. Uh, there's one heater that's water cooled or I should say water heated that comes from the engine and it warms a heater core, goes through these four vents and you can control that by uh, pulling on this for heat. You got your fan speed here and this must turn the fan on I'm assuming. I don't read Japanese. However, this van is also equipped with a Wabasto diesel heater which is on right now, and I'm sweating. Turn the light on. It's this little jet-powered unit. Let's see if I can get a good look at it. Underneath, it has a glow plug in the center, and it injects diesel into this little turbine unit, and it blows hot air out the back, right here where my hand is. And what are we seeing for temperatures right now? 203, I saw there for a second. Ooh, that's hot. 209, 211. It's roasting, and this Wabasto heater wasn't working, and that's what the customer wanted me to fix. There's a lot of relays and fuses and things that run this. It's an older style. I didn't know how it worked, so I kind of had to figure it out. Um, I don't read Japanese, but let me take the light off. I had to relabel and figure out what all the switches do. So we have an on-off switch here on the left. We have a fan high-low speed here on the right. And we have a thermostat, just like you'd have in your house uh, for setting the temperature. I've got on full blast now because I want to get all the air out of the lines. But let's go underneath the van and I'll show you how this works. It's really pretty cool. And I'll show you what I did to fix it. So I'm going underneath the van. You can see the four wheel drive transfer case right there. And you can see the exhaust pipe. That is the exhaust pipe for the Wabasto heater, which if you see my note here, you don't want to obscure that exhaust pipe. It will asphyxiate you. I made a note to her. I think we're going to take and extend this exhaust pipe right here and run outside the van just in case uh, she parks on a snow bank or it snows overnight. Something like that. Let's get a better look at how this works. So the unit is up in the floor right there. You can see the exhaust coming out of it. Also, you can see this little clear line right here, that's the diesel fuel 
that's being injected by this little pump and filter that comes right out of the gas tank. You can see that? That pump was seized. It's a pulse pump, so there's a little relay inside the van, and I don't know if you can hear it, it's just clicking away every two seconds. There, 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 like a heartbeat. And it pulses just a little bit of fuel into that heater to make it work. The pump acts as a regulator. And if we follow the line back, it actually goes back into the fuel line set and into the side of the tank. It was an additional add-on at some point in Japan. This thing works great. Uh, like I said, you want to be careful. You don't want to asphyxiate yourself by uh, smelling the diesel exhaust. It's not too bad. I've got the mixture set just about right, so it's not puffing out black smoke, but creating a lot of heat. So the whole key to the system was, though, this pump was seized just from probably sitting. I cleaned the filter, cleaned the lines, and then bled the air out of the system to get it to work. It's my first endeavor on Wobasto heating systems, and I'm really excited, actually, that I got it working. So we're coming back outside the van, and we've got the thermostat on full blast, so I'm expecting it's hot. Let's see what we got here. I don't know if I can get a good reading. 179. 193. I actually can't put my hand in front of it. It's too hot, which is awesome. We can always turn it down. Uh, there's a low speed and a high speed. on. Pretty neat. I like playing around stuff I don't know much about, but it's kind of mechanical. It is a little diesel injection unit. Again, that heater is installed right there. It's about a foot long. It's just a tube with a glow plug in the middle and I think a little heat exchanger, you know, combustion chamber for the diesel and then a little air that blows around. It pulls in air from this side right here, like a little vacuum cleaner, and then it pushes the hot air out this vent right here. Pretty neat. So now uh, you can be comfortable when you're out camping in your Toyota High Ace high top van in the middle of winter time. I'm actually really excited I got that fixed for. I had no, no clue on how those things worked, and now I feel like I'm an expert. Not so, but Anyhow, it's glad for me, it's very satisfying to know that I can make somebody's day and fix uh, something that was deemed impossible by somebody else. All right, I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, thanks for watching my channel, and uh, I hope you enjoy what I do. We'll catch you on the next video. Every episode is just as exciting as this one. <laughs>